G'day, this is Steve, Woodworking Masterclass. I, I've had a couple of failed attempts at streaming today, but <clears throat> I've given up on that idea and I've gone back to the ATM. Never despair, I'm still pursuing what I want to do with OBS and um, yeah, just doing my head in at the moment. But anyway, I've got, I've changed the TV around. What I want to do with OBS is, um, I'll uh, be able to have seven cameras working. Uh, then you've got one in the machine shop, one at the saw, one here, one here, one here, and then split screens and all sorts of wonderful stuff. But didn't want to play the game today, so I decided I'm not going to play the game either. So what I've got to do, I've changed the TV around, I think I might have shown you in the last stream, and I've got a spare screen. And one of my grandsons decided he wanted it for gaming because he's only got a little one. So he says, oh, Papa, can I? Yeah, right. So as you can tell, it just sits flat like that because it was mounted on the wall. And I'm not about to be drilling holes in the house so you can have a TV. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to try the chat. We'll see what happens there if I've got things happening on. I hope I do have. Uh, Barney of the Rubble, g'day mate, long time no see. Uh, hey Vince, how are you? Hey James, yeah Barney, I, I'm not Telstra, if I could fix it I would mate, I, I promise you. Peter H, Peter H, g'day mate. Um, that's the other thing I'm thinking when I go with um, OBS, it's going to take less power to run. So hopefully I won't be dropping in and out as much. But that's technology for you. All right, we'll go back over here and get into this. I've, I've got a couple of scrap bits of timber here. Just a um, couple of oh prototype V boxes I was doing with dovetails, which I shall continue to do. So what I'm going to do is dock them and then, which I might even only need one and then rip it up the guts and we'll see how we go with it. So let's go over to the saw. Just noticed I haven't got my riving knife on, so I will just put that on while I think about it. If not, I'll forget about it. That's a nice way of putting them on. Beats the old fashioned way that you used to have to undo bolts and take off clamps and oh, all sorts of rubbish. Okay, this up a bit. I better just go and see how big, how wide these are. Then, then I'll be back there. Um, because you can see here, it's just got these mounting brackets here. So I'll just measure those up. Oh, it's nice to be doing some woodwork. Not, not that this is really high class woodwork, but it'll get us there. Uh, oh, I think we go 20 mil, even 25 mil. 25 mil will do. <clears throat> so I'll set this fence to 25 mil or thereabouts. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit in or out. Just 
blew up here, eh? so we won't use that. Yeah, One. Should I do a third one or am I confident? It is only a TV. These two will do. Ah, okie dokie. So I've got to measure how long that is. That's 40 mil. Um, I wanted to have it asymmetrical, so it's a little bit longer in the back than the front. So, just work out what half of that is. Oh, well, I reckon if I went that in the front, that in the back, that might do it. So that was 40 mil. Let me just have another. Ah, rain box is working well. We'll make it 45 mil. Okay. Oh, dear. Set to do some brush cutting. We're on um, a bio system, and each month we have to have um, each month. Every three months we have to have action to make sure it's clean. It's a load of rubbish. It's a council making more money out here. Okay. So now I might just get a French curve over here. What have we got over there? I, I come over and I see there's some activity. Vince got myself a dust extractor. I'm going to wrap it up and put it next to it. <laughs> no, maybe you want to use it now and then buy a new one for Christmas. <laughs> because, you know, you explain to them you've got to have it now so you can be there for the following Christmases. What's it go on? Which machine? Uh, okay. Oh. That's good. Did you get a, um, what size? One horsepower, two horsepower? Okay, I've got no idea what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to... <laughs> I did have ideas of that I'll make nice blacksmith ones. And I thought, no, they're not going to appreciate it. So that's it. They're just going to get what I do. Right. I draw that there. Yeah, I'll cut that out on the bandsaw. So we can go back over to the saw again. Tell Susie I've got one of her cool things squares because she'll want it back. Okay, better. Speaking of dusties, Vince, I'd better turn mine on.
Here we go. And I'll just transfer whatever I did there onto this. I'm not going to bother getting a template or doing anything time consuming like that because it's just not worth it. that on there like so now this one here the first one I put on I drew and cut on the line so I mean this is only a little thing but now I'm using this as a template I've drawn the line if I wanted to get it close I've got a cut on the outside of that line or right yeah right on that line that way it'll give me guys as this so back over to the saw oh turn the dusty on body should be PDC. Pretty darn close. I'm thinking. I'm hoping. Let's have a look. That's pretty, pretty close for me. What I will do is, um, I'm a shaven. Only because I can. And I've got nothing better to do. Oh, here we go. Oh, boom, boom, boom. That might be just okay. All right, we'll put that one there and that one there. And oh, did you notice I've changed my bench around? I've got rid of the little room for woodwork bench. It's over there. I'm back to this bench now. Oh, which is, it's much nicer to work on, I think, anyway. Although I do wish, I do wish I had the H&T Gordon Vice on it. Because I do love that vice. Speaking of H and T Gordon, H and T Gordon spoke shaves. Now I'm doing this way down here, and then coming back the other way. I bring it in that way. I'm not doing any cutting uphill, and I won't get any tear out. You have a look at the difference between both of those. There we go. 
Okay. Oh, it's pretty easy. Now, we'll work out how far these screw holes are. And for that, I think I'll use a pair of verniers. Uh, Okay, 24 mil apart. Okay, so that's where we'll place these, 24 mil apart. Washes today, I can't remember if I brought them down there or left them up in the metal shed. I think I might have left them up in the metal shed, but because I've got some here that I can use. Uh, no, I'll have to go up to the metal shed. Blow it! Oh, we'll finish this off first. Um, nom, nom, nom. What have we got? People having a yarn. Let me come around here and have a, have a yarn. G'day, Jared. How are you? Has the ghost wandered off lately? Um, which ghost, Jeff? <coughs> I've got a lot of them here. Uh, it's amazing how many people don't know that French curves are. My kids are amazed when I show them. So, oh, mate, they're great, James. I'll tell you what I've, I've also done, James. I've got into using a slide rule up in the metal works. That confuses the kids, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, look, they might be unknown, but, you know, it's good to have the skill. G'day, Daryl. How are you, mate? Thanks for that clip the other day. I thought it was great. Only I wanted to see one of you playing. Um, all right, that's it. I'm back over here. And oh, what are we going to do? Can we? Should we? Could we? Um, no, I think we'll just sand it. Um, all right, just wait. A minute. I'll be back in a sec. I'll just go. Get this new box of washes I've got today. Hello, Chuck. Come on, get out of the way. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, got them on eBay. I don't know how many is in there. There's, I don't know, 800, 600, 600 stainless steel washers. I think it was $11. And I'm not saying I'm going to use all of them, but for me, $11 and I've got washes when I need them is so much better than hopping in the car, driving for I don't know how long. Um, well, half an hour, no, hang on. 20 minutes each way, 30 minutes. In fuel, so this is good. 
I'm happy with that. I might even get another another box for down here, I think. Okay. Bit of driller. Drill a hole, I suppose. I think I'm going to need smaller screws. I don't know. Oh. I, I don't want to screw into something that's going to short something out. Because that would just be ugly. I hope it will. Anyway, you wouldn't think they'd put something, well, you wouldn't know, but you hope they wouldn't put something reasonably important behind where it's going to go in. Ah, okay. If we go, that guy's there. Haven't cleaned up the bench behind me. A job. That's a job for Ron. Okay. Now I'm just going to drill these straight down. Not going to bother using a drill press. Okay. Um. Might just put a. Oh no, I've got one over here. Haven't I? Oh, there you go, James. Speaking old school, we'll use the old egg beater. I'm just putting a, a little counter thing in there. Oh, that board that I um, did the other day and glued it together. That's it there. So it came up quite nicely and uh, I can't really see a glue joint in that so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, start cutting that up again soon. All right, now what I think I'll do is I'll just sand this. Yeah, it smells nice. It's Japanese cedar. Got a nice, nice aroma to it. I'll round over the bit. I don't know where things go because I, I generally when I'm doing it, I um I'm just losing my chat feed. Um, I keep the feet and everything because I think oh down the track I might use them for something else. And then when you go and try and find them, they are gone. But anyway. We have the technology, and the young man doesn't care, prov providing he can play his game on it. Um, I'm just going to go over to the sanding disc and just knock those corners off. Yeah, do -do -do -do. yeah oh, no, I'll do it with a block plane. There you go, it is woodworking masterclass after all, not sanding masterclass. Introduce myself back to the tools. I've neglected for so long.
a nice bull nose on it. And the other side. And Raven, if you're watching, I hope you had a happy birthday. Okay, we can sand it, sanding block and do that. Oh. The other one. This is 180. There you go. Do this to this one. Come over here again. Is that working? Yeah, that's working. So that's good. Oh, dear. Good afternoon, Louise. I'm, I'm doing it this time, but I haven't worked all the tech stuff out yet. I've still got to do that. I had nothing wrong with the slide rule, James. I love them. Blows the kids' mind. Did the music stands get completed? If so, no, no. Because I knew you weren't. Oh, my voice is going. No, because I knew you watching T-Bone, so I didn't finish it. They're over there, but I'm having a coffee with Theo on Friday, so we might discuss it. All right, let's get back over here. Oh.
Oh. Noisy. Well, that's no good. You can't see thing in there, can you? There you go. All right. Now, what have we got to finish it with? Oh, you know, I did have some. No, no, no. I thought I had some rubber feet. I don't know where they are, so I won't worry about that. Let me just have a look, see what I can finish it with. I might put a bit of that on there. this before. Eh, yeah, wrong colour. Horrid colour. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'll just use a bit of tongue oil. That'll do. Just to oh, finish it off if I can. If I can. No. Oh, gracious me. Smells a bit offy, but I, I'm not drinking it, so I don't care. There we go. That's one done. I'm very quiet at the moment, aren't I? Must be thinking. There we are. Two legs. So, 
we'll fit them and see how they go. And that tongue oil, I think, can go in there. All right. Put this back over here. That can go there. That can go back up on this little hidey hole there. Oh. That'd be right. Okay. Let's see how it looks and if it works. Now, which way do I want it? Longest at the back. So that's that way. Now, I got these spacings right. There should be a hole around. And there is. I'm impressed. Didn't seem to meet any resistance, so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I didn't go through something I wasn't meant to. But I guess, apart from the fact I wanted to do a stream, this is how easy you can fix things. You don't need to have elaborate machines and Everything else, just a bit of scrap timber and a little bit of experimentation, and it should work. Actually, we'll give it the acid test, I'll turn it on just to see. It'll come up on an HDMI channel because. That's what I had going through it on the in the shed. Okay, let's see. Look at that. Plug it in and find out if anything happens. Oh dear. Okay. Where's it? Is there an on and off? Oh, there you go. I can't see, so you'll be seeing it before me. Oh, look at that! We have, we have something happening. So there you go. It works. That, that's going to be one very happy grandson when I go up to the house, which will be shortly. And how often have you seen that situation where, oh, I can't find this? And because TVs are relatively cheap, you, you throw it away. Oh, I don't know, I'll get a new TV. Well, no, you can fix things. It's not hard. Oh, all right. Let me come over here and have a yarn if it's working. It's sort of flashing in and out. I don't know what's going wrong with that, but anyway. Oh. 
No more chat, well that's all right. Well, basically, that was it. It was a quick little video because I wanted to do that and I wanted to make sure it still work. And apparently they do, and it's half past four close enough, which means I better go and feed the chooks. So they'll give me breakfast tomorrow. Oh, and hopefully, we can now get back into the swing of doing regular woodwork videos and streams. So that is it for the moment. I'm just looking over there. Uh, hang on, what's going on there? Oh. The holes are aligned, the miracle of accurate measurement. Yeah, well, that's, that's about it. The other trick to that, James, the other trick is make sure you've got a much bigger hole than the screw so you can put a washer on the top and it'll line up. So anyway, that was, that was just a real quick one. I'm uh, pretty happy with that. How to fix it. This lost his legs. So that's it. One. Ah, this is Steve pulling the shed door down saying, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the videos or you'd like to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and the... Um, Notification button, that's it, my voice is nearly going to. And I look forward to having your company in the workshop again very, very soon. In the meantime, remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe, look after yourself, be kind to it. And that's it. God bless. See you later on. Thanks for watching.